All right. So we'll get a quick button check from <laughs> S2H. Like I said, S2H, we did get to see him play a little bit earlier. Did you get to cast any of his previous matches? Uh, yeah, I casted him versus Void. Okay. Void was looking at very sort of comfortable there, firsting uh, S2H. Well, Void did live with a Tyrant for quite some time, mm. so no surprise there. Yeah. At the, uh, at the Sky House, correct? Yes. yes. Back when the Sky House was in L.A. Mm -hmm. Now it's uh, no longer in L.A. <laughs> Very unfortunate, but life goes on. And now we go, we're go. we moving into the loser semis. K9 as Bruce versus S2H. Diddy Kong versus Meta Knight. Interesting that he didn't opt for the Sheik here. Especially after the performance that Void put on with his. Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. Ever since K9 started picking up uh, Diddy, we've slowly been seeing less and less of his Sheik. In fact, he's opting to play Diddy uh, even in matchups where he knew he could win before. Mm -hmm. He's still opting to play Diddy. So is this the slow transition to him becoming a uh, either a dual main or a, more of a Diddy main? I, th I already think he's more of a Diddy main. Okay. I think he's already at that point. <laughs> And as you can see, he's very knowledgeable in his Diddy setups. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that was a, a drop, drop shield or a shield poke with that there, but it was a, a very well placed one nonetheless. Pretty even game between these two. Exchanging blows back and forth. Alright, K9 going to be able to recover. S2H holding down center stage. Now we have a, a generally much slower pace game. These two are just kind of feeling each other out in the neutral, just trying to create openings between each other, not committing too hard to anything. Yeah, honestly, just looking for that confirm into a kill. Mm -hmm. Even though they're still at mid to high percent, it's not extremely high, but even at this percent, if they can get that one setup, it could be the kill. Oh, gets the, gets the jump off with the monkey flip. Quick down smash. Very, very quick. One of a... Uh, one of MK's quickest moves, but not very strong. Not like, I w not like it was in Brawl. All right, gets the, the chase down to a grab up throw. Yeah. K9 not opting to grab the ledge, but going for that offensive fair. Only to get grabbed. Punky Flip coming out with a kick. Yeah. It will take S2H's first stock. Yeah, as he was walking in that direction, his, uh, his DI was definitely off on that. Taking his stock quite a bit earlier than it should have. Interesting option to throw it up instead of uh, at K9. And the quick down smash. Yeah, we're seeing quite a few interesting options coming out from both these players. Okay. That will be a punish. Yes. That was uh, actually the first time that we saw S2H actually throw out the attack with the dimensional cape. Mm. It's finally managing to land that fair. The the uh, on-stage fair. That platform will help take the stock. And with, an, with an easy 70% onto S2H. Not going to give K9 too much of a lead, but only one good combo from S2H should be enough to even it out. Ooh. But K9, he has something to say about that. He wants to take this game and he wants to be up in the set. He's really preventing S2H from getting anything going at the moment. And that shall be game one. Beautiful stuff. Banana to down tilt into the up smash. Patented Diddy Kong. Yes. Go with what you know works. Mm -hmm. And we definitely have seen that work many, many times. Many, many times indeed. With Diddy Kongs all across the land of all different skill levels. Can't. Can't go wrong with that <laughs> down tilt to up smash. Except, you know, occasionally when they call out the up smash. But this is game two. Back yes. on Town and City once again. Of course, both players. This day is going to work out for both players. Low ceiling going to work with a uh, up smash and, of course, the up air string to shuttle loop. And we're seeing both players play a very strong neutral game. Yeah, very, very uh, defensive. S2H trying to space around with these... Uh, 
with these jump fares. Nice pressure from S2H, knowing that he wasn't really able to answer back because he was attacking from behind. And great DR from K9, knowing that S2H will not be able to go for the shuttle loop if he DIs out towards the blast zone. These two just dead even into that forward smash. Mm -hmm. They just keep trading hits back and forth. Mm -hmm. Banana into up throw, into up air. All right, finally, it feels like uh, Kana has a little bit more momentum. As I say that, again, literally just going back and forth. Neither of these two are. Ooh. K9 just walking right into that F smash. Where did that come from? Why did that hit? <laughs> See a back throw to get Kane on off stage. Drag down, but oh, no follow up. Doesn't get the down smash. Uh, back hit is a little bit stronger than the front hit, and it may have taken the stock there, but we shall not know. Right, down throw. Once again, Kane on off stage. Really struggle to get back. And uh, finally, S2H uh, will actually know that pretty much even once again until the down tilt to forward air. Good stuff from K9. Now he has a little bit of rage to work with. Let us see what he makes of it. Last time uh, in game one, when K9 first took the first stock, he was able to rack up a good amount of percent onto S2H before S2H was able to seal out K9's first stock. Let's see if he can do it again. Good <laughs> down tilt. Triple clap, round of applause from Diddy Kong. You're playing well today, S2H, but I'm playing that a little bit better. <laughs> All right, no fall off from the Meta Knight grab. Mm -hmm. And he's not quite in kill percent for the up throw just yet. But this is good ledge pressure at the moment from S2H. He's just not, not allowing uh, K9 to get back, but now the roles have been reversed once again. And we're seeing S2H had a similar percent as to game one before he able to take the first stock. And taking the first stock in the exact same way as before. Up throw off the platform at around 150. Ooh, nice pressure. Very ambiguous. Thinking, making S2H think he's going to go for the grab. Instead goes for the much faster jab option and catches whatever S2H tries to go for. Okay, banana at the ledge. K9 just not letting S2H get away from that ledge until S2H was able to land a dash attack, and now we're starting to see some percent get onto K9. Ooh. Yeah, that was like the first sequence of actual held advantage, but K9, with the run in up smash, he didn't care. He <laughs> just want, he wants to get through to the loser's finals where he can get another yes, chance to fight Nico. Yes, he definitely wants his run back. You notice that S2H, like many Meta Knights, will kind of float up into that area where they think they're safe, but one good anti-air was enough to take out Game 2. Mm -hmm. So, running it right back to Game 3. Town and City once again. Now, I may have a problem with this if I didn't like the stage so much. I'm glad that the, <laughs> the decent music choices have been coming up yes. on here. <laughs> Alright, dash attack into up smash. Easy percent for, for S2H. Now, unlike the previous games, oh, big damage from the tornado, 55%. And unlike the previous games, uh, we haven't seen that back and forth at the start that we saw before. Yes, we see a very offensive S2H being able to rack up an early percent. Oh, wow, the pressure from these down airs. K9 going back and forth. Yes, and this is the hyper aggression that K9's really known for. Pressure just. Kind of slides off him. Ooh, goes for the dunk. As he goes for these very risky move, these moves, but they just seem to work out for K9. Yeah, this is a uh, this is a different K9, but that was a great up the outer shield. These two trying to aggressively answer each other this time. Much faster paced game compared to the previous two. Yes, S2H definitely said he wanted to rev up the momentum, and K9's right there with him. Oh, and the Patty once again on the forward air is going to be the end of S2H's first stock. Wow. They are short hopping <laughs> over that F smash. I was a little worried that K9 was just going to run right into it. Uh, 
up B. There we go. Dash attacking the up B enough. Thanks to his lack of rage, he was able to get that confirm. Talk about another classic confirm. Mm -hmm. All right, we're starting to see the player slow it down just a little bit. Oh, K9 still, still hungry to find an opening. He wants to keep building up this lead as much as he can. Interesting option to go for the up throw there. May have just been a bit of a DI mix-up. Mm -hmm. No follow-up oh, after great death catch on the landing with the forward smash. Very disjointed move. So it was able to challenge Diddy Kong. And now S2H once again has Ooh. the lead. And another big forward smash. And that will be game three. Going to S2H, he still has some fight left in him. Mm -hmm. not, definitely not going to go out without a fight. And uh, if this is any, any uh, prediction of what the future games of between the in this set is going to be like, we may see a very aggressive beginning of Game 4 like we did in Game 3. Mm. Especially now that they've taken it to Smashville, a much smaller stage, less room to work with. They're going to need to be in each other's faces that little bit extra. Gets the grab. Opting to go for the up smash instead of a up air setup. Catches the rollback with the grab and now came out with his own damage. Once again, these two going very back and forth with the hits that they exchange. Oh, missing the shuttle loop and oh, he punished wanted very to hard. He wanted to finish that stock as quickly as possible. I think a lot of other a lot of other diddies may have just opted for a down tilt confirm there, but. K9 knows the strength of what he can go for in those scenarios. Banana into fair. Seen K9 use it all day. Nice charge down smash. Covered both sides of him, so it was a really good option to go for there. Up throw into up air. Up air, taking the stock. Just the, just the right amount of rage and on just the right stage. Catches it, reads the air dodge, but. Doesn't take the stock quite yet. Another one may do it though. K9 sending K back. Get back down to the ground. <laughs> Sit down, boy. <laughs> these are these are my skies. Who play my game? All right, good double back air. Oh, all these back airs coming out. Wow, and he actually challenged Shuttle Loop with his down air. K9 just wanting the set to be over. And yet he's placing his his hits in such a way such that it's not too too much of an overcommitment what he's going for. Like he's never putting himself in a situation where he could just quickly lose his stock from a critical mistake. Oh, okay. Opting to use the barrels to get actually challenge S2H and go through him to get to the ledge. The jump off once again, but MK's recovery more than enough to get him back. Tries to read the roll in. Oh, oh wow! But S2H will land the down air, getting rid of the barrels, and K9 loses his first stock. 114% already onto S2H, though. Is it a little too late? Still barely surviving, but catches him in the air with the upper, and that'll take the set 3 1 to a K9 Esprit. All right. Good stuff to S2H. That will place him in uh, fourth place. I mean, like I said, we don't get to see him come out a lot. So for him to come out and get fourth place, definitely showing his his strength in this region. Mm -hmm. But now, K9 S. Bruce, congratulations. You has earned your run back against Fire and Dice Nico. Yes, and will we see K9 remain as the Diddy Kong?